Hi, this is Peter Weiss, and this is my ALU lab. So, this is my circuit. Uh, I designed this on Logism. Um, it has five inputs. You select one, select zero, and then A, B, C, N, and then two outputs, Y and C out. Um, and now, if we take a closer look at the circuit, we see we have the same five inputs. Um, select one, zero, A, B, C, N. And here is where the select inputs uh, go into. They go into these four AND gates, which corresponds to 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1 of the select. And this is what selects the output combinations. Um, here's the logic. Uh, for example, we have um, A and B here. We have A or B, A or X or B, and then the inverted forms of that. So these are all the possible output, these are all the output logic for the output combinations. Um, and then they're selected with the select inputs by each of these going into an AND gate with the select corresponding select input. For example, um, when select is 0, 0, Y is uh, A or B or C. So it's A or, by A or B or C and the select 0, 0. And then each of these AND gates go into an OR gate to get the final outputs for Y and C out. Um, so each of these are now uh, connected to a clock here. So we have five clocks and each have a different period um, so that they can tick uh, at different rates so we can see all the outputs. So if I enable the ticks, we see it ticks and the outputs are changing. We can look at what's happening here with all the different logic. Um, and that's interesting, but... Uh, more interesting thing is to look at what is actually happening in some in a logic uh, logic table. So if we go use the logic logging function of logism, we can add all these inputs. And now if we enable the ticks, we see that it's accumulating this logic table here. Um, and we can let it tick and we can get all the possible combinations and then compare them to what it should be. But uh, So there should be 32 different possible output combina input combinations, 32 corresponding outputs. Um, and we can, but we can just look at that with these outputs here. Um, and, but eventually we should get a final logic table that demonstrates all these outputs and demonstrates the proper functioning of this ALU. Uh, yep, so this is my ALU circuit. And it shows the outputs for every possible input to demonstrate the proper functioning.